Hi guys, today we are talking about Lost Lands 2021. This was our first year going to Lost Lands and we got Wednesday early entry, Thursday pre-party, and we did GA and we camped. In this video, we are going to be talking about food vendors, people, aka the overall vibe, camping, sound cams, production, security, and more. So let's get started. The first one that I want to talk about are the food vendors. The food was delicious. I mean, of course, we got some cheesy fries that were good, and then we got some cheesy fries that were really good, so it was really confusing. But there was one thing that we got, and it was, it was by the forest stage, and it was like a mac and cheese sandwich and it was the best thing i've ever tasted it was a mac and cheese grilled cheese mac and cheese grilled cheese so good. and it was so good it really hit the spot at two in the morning <laughs> it was so good and then we even got it was a type of lemonade i think oh. it was like a lavender lemonade wasn't it yeah I think it was lavender. Yeah, I think it was some type of lavender lemonade. It was lemonade, but it was so good. And we also got breakfast at the village and it was good. I mean, it was, I got a breakfast burrito. So it was a breakfast burrito, nothing crazy. I don't eat meat. So it was just egg, cheese and salsa. So it was as good as it's gonna get. There was this poke bowl that we got and that was also okay it was the rice wasn't fully done so like the rice was hard and it was just missing like some kind of sauce or as i always say it just needed more salt <laughs> the next thing that i want to talk about are the people and the overall vibe so we met a lot of really nice people we even saw people that we have met from other festivals and that was really nice to see them and what's crazy is that two people recognized who i was so thank you so much for coming up to me i'm sorry i'm shy and i didn't say anything and i was just kind of like really surprised because that was the first time that someone has come up to me and they were like are you centered flow and i was like I am! I am! That's who I am! <laughs> so I got really excited. So thank you so much for coming up to me and saying hi. That definitely made my weekend that not one, but two people recognize me. Just makes me blush. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> the next thing that I want to talk about is camping. Uh, we were camping for five days and I can definitely say that I don't think I will ever be able to do five days again. I can do four, but five was a lot, but I think it was a lot because it was really cold and I just, I don't like being cold. And I was wearing like a t-shirt, a long sleeve, a sweater, a jersey, a pashmina and a blanket. And I was still freezing my butt off. So it just, the cold wasn't fun, but being with friends just kind of made that feeling all disappear. I mean, I was still cold, but I had a lot of fun. I thought that the camping setup was great. There was easy access to porta potties, medics, food vendors, water, a general store. Um, it didn't take too long to walk to the village but that's probably because we got wednesday early entry speaking of wednesday early entry if you don't want to walk that much at night or during the day going to the festival grounds i really do highly recommend the wednesday early entry because it was about a 10 minute walk to the village if you're trying to go turbo you're trying to catch someone's set you're trying to get to the lines as fast as you can but if you're just walking normal it was about 15 minutes to get to the village. They did give us a lot of space to have our car because we did car camping, our tent, and our canopy and that was really really nice and we drove in with our friend so it was really cool that we were together like this was our car and then this was their car and our whole campsite was together. 
We still had quite a bit of space too. There was maybe like three to five feet from our car to the tent and then from the other tent to our friend's car. So there was a lot of space that they gave you. Did I also mention that the showers were close by too? They were by all the food vendors, medic, general store, uh, water, all that. Let's talk about the sound camps. So I was really excited to see what the sound camps were going to be like. And I'm going to tell you I was shocked. <laughs> I did not expect the music that was going to be played at these sound camps. And when they started, I was like, this is a lot of like house and just like really slow, slow music. And I wasn't expecting that at all. I thought it was going to be like still like crazy dubstep, rhythm, whatever, or maybe some wobbles in there too, but it was just really slow and chill and it was really nice. There were a lot of sound camps too. There were five. If you just wanted to walk around, you were still able to walk around. All the lights were on, it was beautiful. <laughs> stage was definitely my favorite during the sound camps. I feel like we were always sticking by the forest stage and there was always a set that we wanted to see at the forest stage. But I understand now when Festival Finesse said that the sound camps and everyone else saying that the sound camps are quiet, they are so quiet. <laughs> I was trying to be hopeful. I was like, I know it's going to be more quiet than the festival. I completely understand that. But the sound camps were really quiet. So when the festival ended, we went back to the campsite to get warm clothes on. And um, I don't think we took too long. I feel like it was about an hour. And we walked back and it took forever to get through the security line for the sound camps. And it really wasn't that many people, I feel like. We only left one day because after that, we decided just to bring our blankets and hoodies with us and then just not leave the festival. This is kind of random, but kind of not. We really liked the system that they had for lost and found. It was really easy to find and they had a website that you can go on and they have pictures of all the stuff and before you even head to lost and found you can look on the website and see if whatever you lost is there at lost and found another thing that i want to talk about is the decorations the photo opportunities the dinosaurs it is unreal i felt like i was just being a kid, running around, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> it was just so unbelievable how life-size these dinosaurs were. And how much effort they put into decorating Lost Lands we went to reunion and I was freaking out about the dinosaurs then. And then we got to Lost Lands and there was like 90% more dinosaurs. <laughs> I was freaking out and they're huge. They're so cool. When I say that there's so much detail in these dinosaurs, it's cr like wrinkles, spots, they move, the hands move. <laughs> so cute man i can't wait to be back <laughs> another random thing but not really random the artist merch could have been better in my opinion they didn't really have a lot of artists merch that you could choose from. I don't know if this is a Lost Lands thing or not,
but it just would have been nice to have more options and to see different artists merch. I don't know why that's so hard to say. It's like kind of hard to say, but like not really. <laughs> really quick, I'm gonna talk about the sound. It was insane. It was insane. Hold on, hold on. The sound was something like I've never experienced ever. <laughs> And I was, I was ready for it because we went to reunion and that was the loudest festival that I've ever been to. It was so loud at reunion. I was, my ears were broken they were broken. And then we went to Lost Lands. I remember that we got in about 2.30 when Hi I'm Ghost was on and it was so loud. It was so loud. I remember turning to my girlfriend and just being like, this is so loud. <laughs> I give the sound like an A++++. Insane. So security. We had security for camping and of course security for the festival grounds. And for camping, it was really smooth. They knew where to tell you where to go and they always kept you updated and they were like, okay, this is where you're gonna go. And then talk to the person over there, talk to the person over there. And yeah, it wasn't confusing at all, but we did get in before they shut the camping festival grounds down. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. We got in before that. I heard that people were waiting in lines for a really long time and then they closed it off so they weren't letting anyone in. So thankfully we got in before they shut everything down. So the value for the ticket you ask, is it worth the money you ask? Yes, I do think it's worth the money for the camping and for the festival. There was a lot to do and we didn't see everything that Lost Lands had to offer. It wasn't huge like EDC or anything, but there were a lot of places to walk around and to look at. There were like little places that you can walk up and see the stage from up high. <laughs> puzzle if you solve that puzzle please let me know that was such a hard puzzle i was looking all weekend and then the last day when we were leaving i think we were leaving the sound camps mm -hmm. i finally found the dinosaur with the tag with the symbol it was really cool that you can go to the festival that started at i think it was always like 2 and 2 30 and then it went until about 11 or 12. i think the last day it went until 11 and after that you can go to the sound camps which went on until like four or five in the morning so you really do have like over 12 hours of music every single day if you wanted to stay all day and all night long i just want to go over three of my favorites and i think i'm going to start including this in all of my festival reviews because i just think it'll be cute to end it off this way but first thing Favorite stage, Wompy Woods, of course. I should have should have expected that, but Wompy Woods was so beautiful. <laughs> the depth that they put with the screens and then just the way that it was built I guess, I don't know, <laughs> this is so hard to explain. It's the lasers, the lights, everything. I just really loved that stage, but I will say that the forest stage comes to a very, very close second to my favorite stage. Favorite set, Grizz. That was my favorite set of all weekend. I cried basically the whole time but at the end I just bawled it was it was seriously the most beautiful set I have ever seen in my life and I've never seen Grizz before and that was my first time seeing Grizz and if you have never seen him 
please <laughs> go see him it is so worth it i was bawling at the end <laughs> that nah, saxophone i think it was the saxophone that got me <laughs> and the last one is my favorite memory and it's really funny because this isn't in the festival grounds when we got back from the festival and our friend had a van and they had it all set up that's where they slept it was super cute and we were so cold and we tried to make this meal it was like a zucchini fritter thing and it just didn't work because uh, i thought it was a great idea to bring a skillet and not a regular pan so none of our meals were working this or this weekend <laughs> none of our meals were working that weekend it just we couldn't even make pancakes <laughs> Are you doing that to make another pancake? Yeah, we're gonna try. I'm so sorry, I should have brought a regular pan. We were making food and we were just so cold and we were trying to eat these like zucchini fritters that just like <laughs> was not good, but <laughs> I tried to eat it like as best as I could. But we were like, do you wanna go in the van? Like, let's go in the van, let's start the car, let's warm up. And we were just talking and catching up and just i don't know i think those are my favorite memories is just when you're with your friends and you're not watching tv or you're not on your phone or anything like that like you guys are just talking and you're catching up and that was just really nice that is it for my lost lands 2021 review if you have anything that you would like to add about your lost lands experience please let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>